The crash triggered a major recovery mission that's still underway right now. Tim McMillan is at the top of Brookfield Place and Tim, it was all captured on video. It was, Emmy, and uh, presumably many times over, this accident happened on the South Perth side of the river, right in front of thousands of people who were there enjoying the afternoon and getting ready for the Australia Day Sky Show. And the footage uh, that we can show you now shows the plane banking before it plunges into the river with some force. Now, police have confirmed that two people, the pilot and passenger, were both killed in that crash. The city of Perth cancelled the Skyworks shortly after and really that tragedy left them with absolutely no choice. Emmy? OK, Tim, thanks for that. And Ellie Cormack is near the crash site on the Swan River tonight. Let's go to her. Ellie, most of the crowd has now left the city. What's the latest from police? Well, Emmy, we understand it was a husband and wife. They were the only two people in that plane when it crashed a few hundred metres from the South Perth foreshore around five o'clock this afternoon and in front of huge Australia Day crowds. The light aircraft was part of an aerial display entertainment uh, prior to the Sky Show. We understand low fuel may have been an issue when the pilot attempted uh, that turn for the third time and crashed into the river. Witnesses say they heard the engine rev heavily before it stalled. Uh, you can still see the wreckage from here uh, uh, at the foreshore now. Water police are at the scene. We understand it's quite a shallow area of the river and the recovery mission uh, will go well into the night. Emmy. Okay, Ellie. Ellie Cormack there in South Perth. Thank you.